How to Discern Spirits, St. Bridget of Sweden. The following text comes from Prophecies and Revelations by St. Bridget of Sweden. Book 1, Chapter 4. Narration by Tony Capo Bianco. Our Lord Jesus Christ's words to his bride about how she should not fear or think that the revelations told to her by him come from an evil spirit, and about how to discern an evil spirit from a good one. Chapter 4. Quote, I am your creator and redeemer. Why did you fear and doubt my words? Why did you wonder whether they came from a good or an evil spirit? Tell me, what have you found in my words that your conscience did not tell you to do? Or have I ever commanded you anything against reason? End quote. The bride answered, No, all you told me was completely true and reasonable, and I was badly mistaken. The bridegroom, Jesus, answered her, quote, I showed you three things from which you could recognize the good spirit. I invited you to honor your God, who made you and gave you all the good things you have. Your reason also tells you to honor him above all things. I further invited you to keep the true faith, that is, to believe that nothing has been created without God, nor may be made without God. I also invited you to love reasonable work and continence in all things, for the world was created for man's sake, in order that he may use it according to his reasonable needs and not in excess. In the same way, you may also recognize the unclean spirit, the devil, from three opposing things. He tempts and advises you to seek and desire your own praise and to be proud of the things given you. He also tempts you into unbelief and intemperance in all your limbs and in all things, and makes your heart inflamed by them. Sometimes he also deceives men under the guise of a good spirit. This is why I commanded you to always examine your conscience and reveal it to spiritual men of wisdom. Therefore, do not doubt that the good spirit of God is with you when you desire nothing but God and are completely inflamed by him. Only I can do this, and it is impossible for the devil to come near you then. He also cannot come near to any evil man unless I allow it, either because of his sins or some secret judgment that is known only to me. For he is my creature like all other things. He was created good by me, but made himself evil by his own malice. Therefore, I am Lord over him. Therefore, those who accuse me do so falsely when they say that those who serve me with great and godly devotion are insane and possessed by the devil. They consider me to be like a man who gives his chaste and trusting wife over to adultery. Such a one should I be if I allowed a righteous and God-loving man to be handed over to the devil. But because I am faithful, the devil will never rule over the soul of any man who devoutly serves me. Although my friends sometimes seem to be insane or senseless, it is not because the devil is tormenting them, or because they serve me with fervent and godly devotion. It is rather because of some defect or weakness in the brain, or some other hidden reason, which serves to humble them. It may also happen, sometimes, that the devil receives power from me over the bodies of good men for the sake of their future reward, or that he darkens their consciences but he can never rule the souls of those who have faith in me and who love me. End quote. End of chapter 4 from book 1 of the Prophecies and Revelations by St. Bridget of Sweden. Welcome to the Virgo Potens YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video, I invite you to visit the Virgo Potens website at virgopotens.org. Virgo Potens has articles, traditional Latin Mass resources, transcribed sermons, prayers in English and Latin, narrated videos of the Dolorous Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ by Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, and a spiritual warfare page. I offer the content on the website and YouTube channel for free, but this work is a full-time apostolate and your support is needed. Please prayerfully consider supporting my work by praying for me, becoming a patron of Virgo Potens on Patreon, and or by purchasing one of my ebooks. If you'd prefer to give me a one-time contribution, I suggest that you do so by buying one of my ebooks. 
Links to my ebooks as well as to Patreon can be found at virgopotens.org. May the Virgin Most Powerful guide and protect you. Thank you.